There are difficult days ahead that will determine the future. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and Danish Prime Minister Met Frederiksen met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev. Speaking at the joint press conference held after the meeting, Zelensky said, There are difficult days ahead that will determine the future. Hard times to protect our state, our lands and the Ukrainians. Our defenders are doing their best to protect their own lives and our country. Ukraine's needs were conveyed to our guests today. We are waiting for an ambulance from them, he said. Reminding the support given by Spain and Denmark to the defense of Ukraine, Zelensky said, The pressure on Russia should continue until this war ends. I really want all these sanctions to be deep, effective and I really want Russia to feel it. I would like to thank both countries for their support to our defense force. Speaking after Zelensky, Danish Prime Minister Frederiksen talked about their support for Ukraine's struggle against Russia and said, Denmark provided Ukraine from the very beginning with its political and financial support, as well as weapons and equipment for its defense. Support for the security and defense of Ukraine amounted to 600,000 Danish crowns, $88,000. Expressing that he saw what was happening in Ukraine with his own eyes, Frederiksen said, I visited Borodyanka today and saw with my own eyes what was going on there during the Russian occupation. To document all crimes committed by Russia against Ukraine, we need the support of the affected families as well as the support of the International Criminal Court. We must ensure that those responsible for these crimes are prosecuted, he said. Spanish Prime Minister Sanchez, in his speech, said, Mr. President, we support your desire to join the European family. You have the right to choose your destiny and you have good reasons to join the European Union. Spain and its people support the freedom of the Ukrainian people. We assure you that Spain strongly condemns this unjust war and is against it. We want Putin to be held accountable for his crimes, for the crimes of his country. He explained that Ukraine needs about $7 billion a month due to the economic losses caused by Russia's attacks. Zelensky stated that Russia's attacks and sieges caused food prices to skyrocket in grain importing countries. Noting that Ukraine currently needs about $7 billion a month due to the serious economic losses caused by the war, Zelensky said, the Russian army aims to destroy all things that can serve economically in Ukraine. This includes train stations, food depots and oil. Including refineries, he said.